All right, so we're going to practice writing down a few multi-step inequalities um, as uh, as inequalities. They're now existing in the form of word problems, and we will translate them into the language of math. So we've got a silly example first, and then some boring examples. So you know, take your pick. Uh, so let's let's just start here. So um, well, let me just. When we're talking about inequalities, all right, let's see here. Y equals 2x, that's an equation. Y is less than 2x, that's an inequality. So um, inequalities uh, state that something is not equal to something else, and it's usually not equal in a specific way. So, you know, it's less than or it's greater than. So we're just going to try to translate these into simple inequalities. They'll be multi-step inequalities, meaning they take more than one step to solve. But don't fear. Okay, so two-thirds. So I'm just going to read it all the way through, and then we'll go through and pick it out piece by piece. Two-thirds of my neighbors each have a spaceship, and tomorrow ten spaceships are blasting off from Mars from my neighborhood. If I know that there will be fewer than three spaceships left in my neighborhood after these leave for Mars, how many neighbors do I have? I wish, right? Okay, so um, two-thirds of my neighbors. So the question is how many neighbors? How many neighbors do I have? So that's going to be my variable, my, my unknown. So I'm going to call that n. So uh, n. Okay, so two-thirds of my neighbors each have a spaceship. So if I say two thirds n, oops, that's uh, with three. Okay, so if I say two thirds of n, so this is the number of neighbors I have. Two thirds of them have spaceships. So this this here is the number of spaceships in my neighborhood after, um, I mean before, all these people blast off from Mars. Okay, um, so. Uh, two thirds of my neighbors ha each have a spaceship, and tomorrow ten spaceships are blasting off from Mars from my neighborhood. So, say goodbye to ten of them. So two thirds uh, times n is the number of spaceships that there are prior to blast off. I'm going to take away ten of those spaceships because they're leaving. If I know that there will be fewer than three spaceships left, so fewer then three spaceships left in my neighborhood how many neighbors do I have um, so this is the inequality two-thirds times the number of neighbors I have um, means the number of spaceships that are in my neighborhood right so two-thirds of my neighbors each have a spaceship okay tomorrow ten of them are leaving so if I take this number of you know the total pool of spaceships I reduce it by 10 because 10 are leaving um, and there'll be less than 3 left then I can figure out what n is from here and I would you know add 10 to both sides um, multiply by 3 halves yada yada but this is the inequality that represents that situation alright so now let's let's do some boring ones uh, 3 more than 4 times a number okay so three more than plus three three more than four times a number four times a number x or whatever m p q whatever you want to call it, your unknown three more than four times a number is less than is less than or equal to or equal to twenty three done Seven less than five times a number. So I've got seven less than five times a number is at least 15. So it's at least 15. So it could be equal to 15 or greater than 15. It's greater than or equal to 15. It's at least 15. The least it could be is 15. So it's at, at least equal to 15. But it's probably greater than 15. So 
greater than or equal to 15. Okay, two more than a number divided by 8 is less than or equal to that number decreased by 5. Okay, two more than a number. Two more than. A number divided by 8. Two more than a number divided by 8 is less than or equal to that number, so x, decreased by 5. Um, let me see. Should I say something about this? Two more than a number divided by 8. You might think, um, let's see. I don't know. Don't worry about it. There's a little bit of ambiguity um, in this. Yeah, this is what I'm thinking. You might think two more than a number divided by 8. We've got two more than a number, and then we divide it by 8. Um, if it's this, I should really say two more than a number, comma, divided by 8, is less than or equal to that number decreased by 5. That's that's what um, this would be. Because there's no comma, it's 2 more than a number divided by 8. See the difference? Okay. So um, if you're looking at word problems, they really should use commas when they mean um, do this whole thing first and then do this thing. Right? They kind of split it up into chunks. If there aren't commas, uh, do it like this. Two more than a number divided by eight. So a number divided by eight is kind of one chunk. So there's a little bit of ambiguity in the English. And that's one of the reasons why we like to write things in the language of math, because there's there's no ambiguity whatsoever. So uh just be careful with that with that kind of thing. Just um and, and don't don't get too tripped up by it. Um if it's unclear, uh, you know, write what you think. So you should be you should be okay. All right. Good luck.